Hello everybody and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. This is going to be episode 22, I believe, taking place right after that amazing run that I had with Maggie. Maybe the best run I've ever had in the game, actually. So, I've decided to mix it up again with more characters, because I used to just use Kane all the time. There was a brief Kane period in my Binding of Isaac life. Now, I'm going to go back to Isaac. He's one of the two characters I have not actually beaten Mom's Heart with now. The other one being, of course, Judas, who I will have to conquer at some point. But for now, let's stick to good old Isaac, the guy who's got the all-around skills to pay the all-around bills. Or here's hoping, anyway. Now that I got that sent, those bills are going to be a little bit easier to pay. But anyway, so with Isaac, we're basically going to focus on... Uh, how could you explain this? Basically, I guess, staying alive. Um, I guess with, uh, with Judas, you got to focus on that as well, and a little bit with Kane. Kane's focus seems to be more making sure you get as many item drops as possible. Maggie's is more, you know, making sure you get a little bit of firepower. Isaac's got the firepower to survive through the year, to, uh, to kill things throughout the game, but he absolutely needs to make sure that he survives. He's an all-around character, you know. He's the Red Ranger of the Binding of Isaac games, whereas obviously Kane is the White Slash Green Ranger, Maggie is the Pink Ranger, and I don't know. I don't know where Judas comes into this whole thing. Maybe he's the Black Ranger. So our first item, we got Lemon Mishap, and I'm looking forward to using this because someone actually told me there was a glitch with Lemon Mishap. Uh, where essentially, well, I'll show it to you if it works when we get to the boss, who should be in the room after next. And of course, I might want to use my bomb to find the secret room, or to get to that treasure chest. Oh, I have three bombs now, actually. Whoa, okay. Tight room in here. Always shitty when you run into hoppers at the very beginning, but I digress. Okay, so we'll get, take out this hopper right here. One more shot. There we go. Ah, uh, fantastic, a key drop. Now we're going to blow up this Tinted Rock because I've got a surplus of bombs right now and Tinted Rocks sometimes drop an item called The Rock which gives you increased damage which would be really useful right now. So, let's go fight Larry Jr. first of all. Now apparently the way that uh, this glitch works is that if you use Lemon Mishap on a boss after defeating the boss and then walk out of the room you uh, it doesn't count the room as being finished so you can go back in and fight the boss which would normally seem like, oh, why would you want to fight the boss twice? Well, it works when you got a boss this easy, uh, and the boss will always drop yet another item, so you can just kind of stack items together. Uh, and I don't plan on using this... Oh, I gotta get out of here. I'm using this a lot. I just want to use it, like, maybe once to see if the glitch actually works. I don't want to exploit the game into beating it, because that's not my style. I feel like every now and then I can actually beat it normally, so I don't need to resort to those cheating, underhanded tactics. But we'll at least see if it works. And it might be a, a viable solution for those who are having a lot of trouble beating the Binding of Isaac. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe someone in the comments is lying to me. Maybe I won't be able to put it into execution property. Properly. Lots of maybes here. So Larry J is very, very nearly dead, but not before he trapped me in the corner. Yeah, and did half a spirit hard worth of damage to me. Yeah, if I could just... Hey, stop moving. Oh, he almost got me again. Running scared. There we go. So our item is dog food. We got two more spirit hearts. And a little bit more money. Now let's use lemon mishap. And then walk outside. Now we should just be able to walk right back in and fight him again. Wow. Okay, that is indeed correct. Uh, I suppose we could just run down to the basement if we wanted to, but let's not do that. So I'll fight Larry Jr. one more time and get one more item. Just... Just because it's going to feel good to be so overpowered already. Um, but yeah, this is something I, I don't really necessarily feel good about doing on the whole. Uh, I wouldn't want to make this a habit. Also, it's a little bit weird. It's clearly glitched up because the guys are just like uh, running directly through the poop. The, the poop is not stopping them at all. Or like maybe there's poop on the screen that I can't see that they keep running into because they seem to keep turning around all the time. Alright, so LJ number one's almost dead. Oh, oh, oh! There we go, well, LJ number one is dead. What do we got going on here? Well, there we go. And another HP up. Fantastic. There's a lot of poop on the screen right now. Now I'm gonna go back, and I suppose check out this room down here, as well as try to find the secret room. Right. You know, I, I probably deserve to fight Pride after glitching the game out it's so hard right there. Oh, hey, hey, where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? When Pride doesn't use his bomb attack, he is remarkably easy, but now... Oh, ah! 
The, the bombs affect each other. They hit the bombs into me. So what do we have there? The Anarchist Cookbook. Yeah, you know what? We'll take that just so that I don't uh, feel the temptation to use Lemon Mishap over and over and over. Secret Room could be here. And in fact it is. Ah, nine cents. Nothing to sneeze at there. And I believe we can use another bomb to get to another chest back here. Heart I don't need. But man, Isaac! You got a lot of health right now, buddy. How did that happen? So it's interesting that that glitch exists, but again, I don't want to... I don't want to make that a, a habit. I want to beat the game on my own merits. Not on a glitch that I can just exploit over and over and over. Which is why I'm abandoning Lemon Mishap. But again, interesting to know that that glitch can be reproduced fairly easily, and if you guys are ever interested in just making an unbelievably overpowered character right off the very beginning by spamming Larry Jr. to death, hey, there you go. Be my guest. Lots of hearts there I can't use. And we're going into the basement part two now. Really rich on health. Oh, this is kind of a tricky room. Because these guys are going to get unleashed as soon as I shoot the poop. I suppose I could use some bombs to uh, to free them from this mortal coil. But let's just let's just take them out the normal way. In fact, that was much easier than I expected. Just hammer away at them on the horizontals here, and we're shooting poop in the process, which means there's a possibility that some items will drop. But most of the time, I don't even bother shooting all the poop in a room anymore. It's just a uh, not really worth it. It so rarely pays off, and it pays off so little. Come on, human popcorn. Whoa! That was a big explosion. And I've almost got enough money to buy a 15 cent item in the shop, which is usually the only way I spend money in the shop. I have little interest in buying, like, spirit hearts and keys most of the time, unless I get into really dire circumstances. Always seems better to pick up something like a, you know, a ladder or a battery whenever possible. Right, get off the rocks, buddy. More bombs, excellent. So, let's go down this way now. Hmm. <laughs> One bomb will not take out all of this shit, will it? I'm gonna have to use two bombs to get to that chest. But it might be worth it if there's some tinted rocks in here, which there's not. Let's leave that for a minute. So the item room should be back this way. Don't really need hearts right now. Slot machine's cool, uh, I might explode you later. This will be the last room here. Oh, no, there is the item room over here. So we'll just take out these double flies. One more fly to go. And a blue pill. Might as well take that right away. See what's going on. Bad gas. Alright, just a poison attack. And our item here. Ah, more uh, urine-themed items. This is Tears Up, and I think uh, it really, really puts your tears up. It feels like I'm firing an awful lot faster right now. Which is great. I love having increased tears. Probably more so than increased damage, actually. I like hitting more often as opposed to just hitting for more damage. Anyway. Uh, I could now use some range up. That would be fantastic for me. Really doing well on bombs here. Seven already. Any tinted rocks in here that could maybe swing me to use a bomb to blow up some shit? Oh, and another mini boss. Apparently, people have been saying that the game gets hard. Whoa! The game gets harder every time you beat it. So, um, well, this is a tough situation, yeah. Game gets harder every time you beat it, so I can understand maybe why I'm, I'm drawing so many mini-bosses so early. That happened in my Maggie video, too. I got some pretty quick. Let's take out this last Silkworm. A key and a tarot card for Temperance, which just gives us a blood bank. Uh, and, you know, I might as well, because there is one heart left over in the uh, other section of the level here. So we'll do that, and then we'll explode the blood bank giving us a lot of hearts. Well, that's a shame. Uh, with 16 cents, we don't need to waste a bomb to get any of that money. Or any of those hearts. But we will use a bomb to blow up the slot machine. See what we can get in there. Another cents. Well, in hindsight, I should have used that bomb to blow up the rocks to get to that three cent area, but oh well. Then we will go check out the shop, and hopefully there's a good item in there. Ah, uh, the map! Ah! Stepped in the fire by accident. Yeah, so I will buy the map. That'll show us the location of the secret rooms in every level. Hopefully save me a few bombs. And then with five bombs, you know, let's actually get to this treasure chest in the middle. Ah, it only cost us one. Fantastic. And it gave me two cents, which is probably not worth it. 
what boss do we have here? Steven. Okay, that's good because we'll get a little Stevie when we beat him. A little Stevie's a pretty good, uh, pretty good guy to be uh, have on your side. Let's use Anarchist Cookbook just for shits and giggles, really. See if I can do some damage to him. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. It also opened up the levels so that I can dodge maybe a little bit more easily. But Steven, please uh, control your other half. Uh, the lemon tears are going to take them out pretty damn quickly. So thanks for all the responses in the comments that let me know who Steven was. He's actually from... Oh, man, that guy's quick. He's actually from an earlier Ed McMillan game called... Uh, I don't know how you would say it. Time French Connection UK. You know, Time FC UK. Um, yeah, so look at Stevie here. And what kind of items do we have in the deal with the devil? You know what? I would be remiss if I did not get this Led Zeppelin symbol at some point. Let's see what we got here. Damage up. Alright, fine by me. Uh, and I got a spirit heart out of that as well? That's a little weird. Anyway, let's go down. Uh, and hopefully I should be doing some sick damage now. Because I did spend two HP upgrades to get it. Which is not really my style. Generally, I prefer to have as much health as possible. But hey, you know, increased damage is cool too. It's going to make it a lot easier to take out some bosses. Doesn't look like we're going to be getting any uh, any great cube of meat upgrades here, because now I think there's only the possibility to fight three. And actually, no, three's not bad. I forget what the magician does. I think it takes us to the secret room, thereby nullifying uh, the, the map that I just purchased. Oh, that was a dumb way to take damage. I will get my revenge on these guys. Again, I hate the layout of this room. Uh, but you know what? There's a blessing in disguise. I can use a rock here, or a bomb here as well, that tinted rock. Get a key, and open it up a little bit. <clears throat> so that I can take them more out more easily. Might as well go into the secret room as well. Maybe if I'm lucky, there'll be a couple nickels in there. Or a single slot machine. Yeah, let's play that four times, see what we get. Generally, when I have less money, I like to play the slot machine rather than blowing it up. Just on the off chance that I get a bill or maybe a pretty fly. It happens very rarely, but when it does, it's important. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a little tickle in my throat here. Ah. Let's blow it up right now. I could come back later and play it when I have more money. But instead, let's just do that. Get some of our money back as well as a key. Ah, and there's the Necro Necronomicon, one of my favorite items in the entire game. Obviously, uh, it does incredible amounts of damage to any item in the room. Any item in the... any enemy in the room. Should be able to, I've got enough practice on these zombies that I should be able to take them out without uh, wasting the bomb on them. So there's the boss. I'm not sure we want to be there just yet. Um, maybe, actually. I mean, there's not, uh, there's not that much else keeping me here. Get this key... This. Let's let's fight the boss right away while I have this fully charged Necronomicon. Right, so we're fighting Gertie. Necronomicon uh, murdered all of her little minions, which is fine by me. Uh, as well as doing a little bit of damage to it as well. Right, I'm trying to use her instead of uh, I'm trying to use it instead of her now. Even though apparently, according to the wiki, which I have not read, you guys are telling me that uh, that Gertie is quite clearly a man. But uh, look at this in that name. You know, no parent would name their boy Gertie, I feel. At least based on Western naming conventions. The grandfather fly. Damage is taken up Gertie pretty goddamn fast. Ah, these things. Ah, that was a nasty way to take damage. Starting to regret that deal with the devil I made. Mom's underwear? Okay. You know what, let's do a little bit of more, more exploring on this level, just because... Uh, what are we in? Caves 1? Yeah, Caves 1 is, uh, pretty easy. Who knows, maybe we'll even find enough money to go to the shop. Pick up some more bombs or keys. Um, it's kind of a tricky room. Unless that happens. What kind of tarot card do we have here? Emperor here takes us directly to the boss. Pretty useless. <clears throat> At least for now. We'll hold on to the Magician for now. And hope that we get a chance to use that. Uh, maybe on the next level. Don't really want to go to the shop. What's in the mob trap room? Key and bomb. Uh, could be worth it. We'll see. We'll fight it out. I think I'm going to survive. Um, but, definitely not. I would have expected maybe a, a heartier uh, prize. Could really use some more money now. Wow, these guys have huge knockback when I, when I hit them with the, this increased damage. 
And then, ah, these guys, no problem whatsoever. Sometimes. Again, stupid way to take damage. Gotta remember that I'm playing, I'm playing for two now, I've got my little, uh, my little baby attached to me. No, really, I've just gotta remember that I have a little life. I don't have seven hearts like I did at the end of the, um, the basement part one. Thanks to my lemon mishap. Scamming, basically. Uh, I was really hoping maybe we'd find an arcade or something in here, but oh well. There's another heart for me to pick up on my way back. So maybe something in this room? Ah, just these Me Boy wannabes. Can't even compare to the real thing. Can't even get to that. Oh, I could. Yeah, let's let's spend one bomb to get to that bomb. Could be a good time to have a ladder, but oh well. So we will walk back. We could use the Emperor, which is left in the other room, to just directly go back to that boss room and go down. But I want to hold on to the Magician, and I also needed to pick that heart up anyway. So now the Necronomicon's fully charged again, so we can use that probably at least once before we fight the next boss. He was hoping anyway. There's the secret room, so let's just go down one and get to that secret room as quick as we can. I gotta be careful in this room. Uh, let's take out these skull guys first. The human popcorn doesn't pose much of a threat. Although they are hard to hit these skull guys sometimes. Especially on a layout like this where you've got rocks in the center blocking your bullets. One more human popcorn to go. Ah, no items? Come on. Use bombs to get to the secret room. Hopefully tons of cash in there. Oh, or a 1-up. That's cool, too. I seem to be getting that item a lot more often. Now, where should we go from here? Where would, If I was an item room, where would I be? And will I have HP up in me? Because that's what I... Hey, that's the, the, the rhymes. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there! Good. There's a heart in case I ever need it. And a single cent. Uh, honestly, not the greatest item for me at this point. I could really use a couple nickels or quarters. Are there even quarters in the game? I haven't seen one. It must be incre incredibly rare. Rarer than the dollar, apparently. That worked out pretty well. Hey, another cent. Maybe I could buy a, you know, piece of gum from the store. Another one down. Another champion enemy. Should be dropping some kind of item, though. Who knows what. Come on. There we go. Yep, I'll use a bomb to get to those pills, because who knows? Oh, there's a nickel in there as well. Exactly what the doctor ordered. So up to ten cents. Oh. You didn't... No, I want the pill. Let's use the pill right away. Oh, no. Oh, God, I don't want to be here! That went terribly. Because uh, when I picked up the magician again, it uh, caused me to freeze for a second. All right, let's go back in here and get this heart. That's terrible. And then we'll fight the boss. Fighting the boss early has its advantages. It's got its disadvantages as well. But uh, most of the time, I think it's a good idea because if you're doing poorly, uh, then you can, after you defeat the boss, just immediately go down to the next level. Or you can go back to the shop and pick up some items that you might need since you haven't cleared it out yet. But if you're doing well, then you can hang out and really clear out the floor and get all the items that you need. Plus, generally speaking, I tend to do a lot better at the bosses than I do at the other enemies. And more tears up, that's cool too. I probably do not want to make a deal with the devil at this point. Although, it's really tempting to give only one heart for those things. Let's see if I... Ah! I walked into the next level by accident. Fuck, that's, that's pretty bad. You know what? I'm not going to let it get me down. I'm always going to stay positive. It's a shame I just used the Necronomicon, though. I would love to be able to use it on this, this room right here. I hate these guys. Uh, man, that is that is a mistake that I've made so many times, and I should really learn, no matter what the benefits of fighting the boss right away, that sometimes it's better God damn it, to not do that, because you won't accidentally uh, just walk into that, uh, walk into the trap door to the next level. But hey, you know what? Me failing a little bit kind of makes the Let's Play a little bit better, too. I was probably leaving behind a shitty item in the item room anyway. Let's go down here, then we'll go to the secret room. Just because, why not? Hopefully we can get these bomb flies dead as soon as possible. And away from me. 
One more set. Yes. Now, good. Now, if I could get some hearts to drop, that would be fantastic too. Let's use a bomb here. Enough money to buy an item or to buy something from the shop, which is useful for me. Oh, this is a tricky room. As I am wont to say when I walk into this layout. Ah, that went actually really, really well. I'm impressed with myself. Oh man. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go back into this room. This looks like a room that Wrath would normally be in. Uh this, this is kind of a puzzle. Let's see if there's a way that I can get more bombs out of this than I use. Certainly this will make things easier for me. Yeah, okay. That's fine by me. Uh, there's also a tinted rock down here, but it would cost me two bombs to get to it, which would be pain in the ass. Possibly not worth it. Possibly would be worth it if it had a rock inside of it. You know, I've really got to watch out and make sure I don't get hit on these next few levels, which is cool. Oh, man. How did I take damage against those brain guys? Now, okay, shit's, shit's real now. I almost got hit there at the very end. I need some hearts. So I'm gonna focus on unbelievable amounts! <laughs> uh, okay, thankfully if these guys just jumping now, I should be okay. Let's keep moving forward and praying that the item room is in one of these rooms. Or not the item room, but actually... Oh, I would prefer the shop at this point. There's my one up. Oh man, that was a rough spot. Um, should not be taking this, this much damage in these types of situations. But it's okay, I had that one up. I'm gonna be okay. There's another nickel. Focus on the positives here. There's the shop and the boss. So let's go to the shop right away. And fight the boss right away and not be an idiot this time. So obviously we'll buy that compass, which will show us the location of all the rooms. Buy the pill, why not? Let's use that right away. Tears up, fantastic. Um, we won't fight the boss uh, right away. Let's go to the item room first, just because, you know, I'm in a position where I'd really, really rather be better safe than sorry at this point. Uh, almost. I I actually thought it was over when I got hit there. But I remembered I had the one-up item. Oh, uh, again, another tricky room. As long as I stay on my toes, I should be okay. Uh, with only one of these guys. Cakewalk. Item room has the Game Boy item for me, which is pretty good, but I prefer the Necronomicon. Although I could use the Game Boy and then walk all the way back here and get the no Necronomicon. And anyway, let's just go directly to the boss and fight it. Fully charged Necronomicon should do about, you know, depending on the boss, maybe 25% damage to it, which is pretty useful. And I'm starting to feel a little bit cynical about my, my potential here. Ah, oh, Monstro 2. Uh, it's the Champion Monstro 2. And you can see that, uh, what was that, that, um, Necronomicon did almost no damage to it, which is a goddamn shame. Also, is it just me or is Monstro 2, like, way fucking smaller now and way faster? That must be, uh, one of the ways that the, whoa, jeez, one of the ways that the game gets more difficult, uh, the more you defeat it. Jesus Christ, Monstro, chill out, buddy. We're all adults here. Well, I don't even know what you are, actually, to be honest with you. And I apologize for making you feel bad about that, but seriously, dude, what are you? Luckily, he may be faster, but he's still Monstro too, so it's not... Oh, fuck me. It's not too difficult to figure out what attacks he's gonna do. But I am in kind of a rough situation here. Come on! Come on! Yes! Thank the Lord! Almost, oh, full health again and more increased range. Oh man, that was a, that was a difficult version of Monstro 2 right there. So now we can see where all the items are. Where do, I, I really want to go to the item room, but that is far away. We can get to the boss a little bit easier. Though. Oh man, I forgot the Magician does not take you to the secret room. Instead what it does is, uh, gives... Oh, no. It, it uh, gives you homing missiles for one room. Uh, I would not have held on to it, onto it for that long if I knew that was the case. Well, that spirit heart is pretty okay. 
Is this the Depths 1? Oh, this is Depths 2. I'm fighting Mom on this level. Shit, I gotta, I gotta be ready. So, yes, I definitely will go to the item room. These guts aren't so bad in the whole scheme of things. If I could... Oh, risky. And another hard cake. Cool. Back to full health. Come back through here. It's the first time I fought these guys so far. That's pretty unusual. Got to play much, much smarter than I've been playing right now. My, my Isaac awareness has been pretty low this game. Bomb rich, so let's use a bomb to get to that chest. A pill, which might do anything. Range up, I'll take it. Now two more rooms through here, and we get to the item room. Oh, man, these guys seem even faster than usual, too. That might be just because I'm a little bit slower than usual. Again, I'm used to using Kane. He's got a, ah, he's got a speed advantage over everybody else, but, uh, come on, uh, die! Just get, I gotta keep them out of the ooze state, come on! There we go. Finally. One more heart I can't use yet, but I will probably be able to use later. Oh man, this is, come on, look at this situation here. What's a, what's a man to do in this situation? There were like 15 of those things. Okay, so we'll just take these last two out. If I can actually hit them, there we go. Get this treasure chest, go to the item room, get that nickel, maybe even go to the shop. Obviously, get that heart that's directly below us right now. Oh, that's awesome! And hopefully, greed is not in the shop. Although I have a, a sneaking suspicion that it is. Let's see what item we got in here? Yama heart. Um, pretty useful, but Necronomicon is more useful right now, considering I have full health and I'm about to fight one of the one of the hardest bosses in the game for sure. My guess is that. If I, if I was a, like a, a bookmaker in Las Vegas, I would guess that this run is going to end on Mom. But stranger things have happened. Uh, so for five cents, I could buy hmm a spirit heart or for fifteen cents an HP up. So I'm gonna get the HP up, even though generally speaking, if I was doing like temporary use, the spirit heart should be more useful right now just because of its lower price. Let's go check out this room and maybe, yeah, I got enough money to buy the spirit heart as well. Fantastic. It's gonna give me five hearts for fighting mom plus the Necronomicon, but again, we never know what's gonna happen. I really don't need the steam sale right now. Uh, and you know what? I will use some bombs here to skip a few rooms. So I can skip two whole rooms here just by using two bombs, which is fine by me. And get a little bit closer to mom. Again, some of those skills that you acquire, uh, just by playing Isaac a little bit more than, uh, than I had played at the beginning. That, that's like a next level strategy, using bombs on the secret room to skip rooms. Never would have occurred to me. Took some stupid damage there. Uh, explosive diarrhea, that could be useful, I guess, uh, in this room right here. You know, for half a heart of damage, I don't feel bad about that situation at all. Got a little bit more money. A little bit more money again. I could buy the steam sail, but that's pretty much useless to me right now. Might as well get the extra heart in here. And then let's go fight Mom with four hearts and the Necronomicon. 50-50 odds. So obviously we're going to use the Necronomicon right away. I did actually a pretty sizable amount of damage there. Can't complain about that. Always be watching out for the foot shadow. There it is. Focus on the foot, focus on the foot. I think on the bright side, like, I don't have a lot of people on my side like I normally do at this point, but I do have a lot of damage. Oh, there it is. Already down to half health. Oh, ah, fuck. That was, she was so quick that time, it was hard for me to get out of that situation. Okay. Pound away at it. Yeah, man, just pound away at your mom. I know how that is. Where is the foot? There it is. Ah, uh, it's always good to have other, like, allies on your side, so they can focus on the enemies. Oh, shit. Well, you take out. Oh, come on, it wasn't even touching me. The toad stomped, like, on my toe. That was a shame. I was doing so well there for a minute. Anyway, I guess I can't complain. A half-hour-long episode is not so bad.
Thank you guys for watching Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. I will see you next time with another hopefully more successful run. Maybe with another new character. Well, not new, but not Kane. let's put it that way. This Isaac run was pretty fun. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.